hi guys welcome to moment with bella if this is your first time please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are an old subscriber you guys are just the best thank you so much in this channel we talk about trending news issues that are happening so in and excited to bring to you again yet another interesting issues that we need to talk about or as well probably even look into so without further ado let's dive into the business of the day welcome back it was indeed a black friday for the nigerian entertainment industry as it lost yet another prominent singer hmm, in person of sam Okoso. sam Okoso died at the age of 51 while being treated for exhaustion if you can recall last a week after his return from the uk he collapsed and was rushed to the hospital and then he was diagnosed of exhaustion so they were treating him at the hospital when he as well slumped and died now a lot of people have been sharing different opinion on the social media and i just want to um come here and tell you guys that we need to stop stop the narrative yes stop the narrative isn't it is indeed a loss for us that sam Okoso died at a very young age and of course we know that he'll be greatly missed in the industry but we should not use his death as a leverage to say or carry out news that are not true all right in case some of you don't know Sam Oposo 2021 came out to apologize to his wife concerning his affair that he had with a woman in the United States and it got to a point that the lady got pregnant and people have it that Sam Oposo asked the lady to please keep it in secret or probably even about the child I don't know how true that story is but the lady insisted on keeping the baby and she went ahead to call um, late Sam Oposo's wife telling her that indeed she is carrying the baby of Sam Oposo. When Sam Oposo revealed this uh, on his social media platform where he posted an apology later to his wife, a lot of mouths kept waggling. People were talking, people were saying different things. And before, a few hours after he made that post, he actually pulled down the post however people had seen that sam Okposo was the cause of his death i mean that is so hurtful you don't see that to a dead person who does that a lot of people are saying that it was because of the uh, uh blood but um the pressure from the wife and the baby mama and the talk and all of that i i, I cannot believe that we should just allow the dead man to rest guys yes enough of this story rolling up and down people saying different narrative about his death of course we all make mistakes right no one is perfect you can't tell me that you don't have skeletons in your cupboard the fact that the spotlight is not pointing at you doesn't mean that you are a saint and Come to think of it, social media has made life miserable for so many of our celebrities because of what we call cyberbullying. People go to social media and bully other people. And if you go to their own private life, you discover that they have a lot of skeleton. And no one's talking about them because they're not in the limelight. So why don't we just give the celebrity a slack? Let's just allow them to leave because they are normal people like us. Now, people are saying that that because of the social bullying and all of that, that was what led to the death of Sam Okoso. And other people on a different opinion said that Sam Okoso was a very hardworking and a workaholic. He doesn't even have time to rest. Now, we don't know which story to believe, but whichever story, all we are saying, let him rest in peace. Let's stop dragging. You see prophets come here. Churches, pastors are saying all manner of things. Pastor Suleiman said something. I now they post his pictures but never so, reached out in his trial times. He told me what pastors did to him and we both wept. Love has left the church. 
we have more lawyers who are ready to judge than intercessors ready to restore. Rest in power, my brother. You conquered. I mean, they're just, I, I kind of feel that they're all trying to chase clout. Seriously, because I feel, I feel like you, you guys are in the same body. Pastors, ministers, you guys are in the same body. Why don't you guys look out for each other? What's the division? What's the segregation? What's the, you know, oh, this is for me. This is not for me. Because I, I, I get it that during the time of his scandal, a lot of uh, um, people stopped inviting him over for ministration. A lot, of, and, and even his ministry went down. I don't know why. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. No one is perfect. So because he made a little mistake that, you know, resulted to a pregnancy, does not mean that he should be treated like an outcast. Of course, he was treated like an outcast, and which is not supposed to be so in the body of Christ. We have so many pastors who come around and say so many things that he was indisciplined, he did that, 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 that. And I'm asking, are you even better than him? You're not even better. So why are you throwing stones? Like they say, those who live in glass house, they don't throw stones. Because if you do, you're going to create a storm that you yourself can never control. So I feel we should just allow him to rest in peace guys what do you think about it i don't know if you have any opinion or something to say about this incident please feel free to put it in my comment section and you guys know what we'll do we'll just talk about it concerns have been raised over the head status of the head of commonwealth of zion assembly koza pastor biodun fata oyebo following the release of his latest photograph i was shocked that someone who could look like this will go will end up looking like this like it got me wondering and worrying and i'm asking what's the issue what's the problem and all of that and here again social media people are still talking are still saying negative things I mean, you're talking about somebody's health. Now, if something bad, God forbid, happens to Pastor Biodun, you all will come out again and still say stupid and negative things. Social media is a problem, guys. Social media is a problem. It's causing a lot of havoc. It's, it's killing our celebrities. Social media is rendering the life of influencers, wrecking them into pieces. And if we don't know how to make proper use of social media, guys... Is going to tear this world apart. All right, so let me bring you the real gist. It has been gathered that Pastor Biodon actually suffered stroke. So he is just recovering from stroke. And we are super excited and grateful to God that he is alive, strong, and he is going through his recovery process. So I think it's a time for us to encourage him. It's a time for us to support him rather than drag him down, rather than speaking negative words, which is not really, not really advised for people to do to people who are struggling from maybe for, from a health challenge. So, so people should stop saying nemesis is catching up on him and all of that. Some these are health issues, and we should not joke with them of someone that used to be this, and then the person is this. So I understand, but where to draw the line between negative words and words of encouragement is very important. Now you go to social media, a lot of people are saying nemesis are catching up with him. So some people are saying it's part of all the things that she has committed. So he's facing the wrath of God. Guys, can we please, please have conscience? Can we please have conscience? From us here in this community, we are saying to Pastor Biodun, quick recovery. We love you. God, God be with you. We keep praying for you. You're going to come out of it. You're going to be strong again. Someone is even saying something that I saw on social media. That you eat a lot of vegetables, broccoli, and all of that. That he, he would um, recover quickly and speedily. We hope that works as well. But from us here, please stay strong. We love you. No matter what they're saying, please be deaf.
to whatever social medias are saying so guys you guys know that i don't really know much i just talk about it so whatever you think about the situation please don't forget to put it in my comment section and we will talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if not